How's it going everybody? Ben from Budget Pokemon here and in this video I am unboxing this Scarlet and Violet booster box. It's finally here, the Scarlet and Violet era of Pokemon or anti-Pokemon TCG. So let's get this open. I wanna, I wanna start real quick. I'm so excited for this. And it's actually been quite some time since I've last opened a, an English booster box. Pretty sure the last English booster box I opened was Silver Tempest. And that's like what... That was in, jeez, I should remember this, November or something? So, quite some time ago, but it's, it is nice. We do have, jeez, I have to get used to, like, seeing this many booster packs again. It's actually insane. Let me get this, this open if I can. Get a nice display with here, with the, with the Maridon, of course. Just put this to the side. And... Well, I guess we have to get started. Lots of booster packs. Actually, let me get... Let me look at the, the artworks. So, it looks like you have the these three starters. We have Esprigatito, Fuecoco, and the um, Quaxley. Then we have Coridon. We also have the Miraidon. Both of these, these um, illustrations, special illustration rares look awesome. I, I really want to put one of, the, one of those. And we have the terrestrialized Gyarados. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. But anyways, let's get started right here. The first booster pack of the Scarlet and Violet era of this, of the Scarlet and Violet base set, if you will. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, I have to keep in mind, the code card shows this way when you open them. Ah, uh, okay, so I have to open them kind of odd then. But, here we go, the new cards. Silver Borders, English text. Yo, this looks kind of cool, not gonna lie. This looks really nice, Pupa. Lorgus. Breedent. We got a Vivillian. We've got a Rocky Helmet. Oh, this is like one of the reverse. Not as shiny as I thought they would be, honestly. Let's see. Oh, cool! Look at this patchy Risu. We've got something, and we've got a Hollow. Okay, so the layout takes some getting used to. Here you go. Code card for the new set. So the layout takes some getting used to. Also the energies. I I don't know. They look simple, but I've kind of liked them. Kind of like these these um these energies. So here you go, our first pulls. We have a skelet rich or skeledurch, however you want to pronounce it. And a very, very cute Pachirisu. Look at this. That's so cute. I like this. Let me actually get a sleeve for the Pachirisu. There we go. And just have him, like, right there, I guess. Alright. I actually don't know. I mean, I've seen a Reddit post about the pull rates and the... Okay, I did it again. I did it again. That will happen quite some time, I can tell you. I do apologize in advance. Shuppet, Tandemouse, we've got a, a Smoliv, a Spiritomb, Merku, an Ultra Ball, an Espathra, let's see, Reverse Fliddle, and another Reverse, wait, there's two Reverses, okay, and a Hollow, our Bolivia, and our Energy and our Code Card, okay, it will take me some time to get used to these new layouts and everything. They are doing, like, the pack trick, you know, that we would usually do. They are doing that, like, for you. I actually, I don't like that the code card is, like, at the back. Because that makes it very odd for me to open these packs. Because I have to, like, do it like this as to not spoil. Maybe all the code cards. No, the code cards shouldn't be all white. I don't know, it's kind of odd. We'll, we'll, we'll be able to deal with it anyways. Bruxish. It's got a duck's bun. We've got a Twerkle. I like this Twerkle. We've got a Florgus Reverse. We've got a Skiddo. Once again, Reverse. And a Hollow Cliff Key. And here is, of course, the code card. Enjoy, enjoy. Put this right there. Oh, yeah, right. There is a holographic in every single pack now. I've just noticed this. I've just remembered a Hollow. Let me put these somewhere where can you actually. You know, appreciate them. Like maybe right here. Is the light glaring? Well, should be fine. Sh 
should be fine, hopefully, maybe. Let's see. Ugh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, let me actually look at these code cards. Are they, like, all white? Hmm. They seem to be all white. Maybe they're just all white code cards. And there's no, no differentiation. That's not how to pronounce it. There's no differentiation between the... The, like, white or or um, black. Maybe there's all only white code cards. I don't know. We'll have to see. Because that would mean that I don't have to, like, do an awkward pack trick every single time. No, this is white as well. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see when we do pull something. We'll, we'll look out for it. We'll look out if we pull something. Like, something really great. Like, a special illustration rare. Which I have heard is essentially promised. So, there's another white code card. Which is essentially promised. In every single booster book box, at least one, from what I've heard and from what I've seen. The Breloom, Kilowattrel, we've got a Grimer, we've got a Surviper, a nice Gen 3 Pokemon, and an Armorok. Yo, this looks cool. From Akira Igawa, one of my favorite artists nowadays. So, so good. Come on, would you focus? There you go. There you go. Nice focus. Damn, I've I've really forgotten how just how many booster booster packs like an English booster box contains. Okay. Let's just not try to spoil it this time around. Do it like this. Very good. That worked. We've got a primate. We've got a palmy. A tarantula. A Riolu, that is really nice. An Arwen. Cacturn. Got a Mezagosa. We've got a reverse rare Anila Ape. And hell a Daydene. Yo, that looks cool. Look at this. That's such a cute illustration. I like this. And a Halucha rare. You go right there, and here's the code card for you. So that's also in the white one. Yeah, we do have to pay attention if we do pull something. Like something, something really great. Like in this pack, I can feel it. This pack is gonna have something really great. This is really awkward to open if you have to do it like backwards. And you run the risk of spoiling something, Riolu. A Gagoat. A Scatterbug. Heracross. A Crocodile. Flamingo. Oh, we have something. Do you see that? I think that's our special illustration rare. Okay, that's our special illustration rare. Let's see. Yo, it's the Juck! I do have this in Japanese, but this is cool. Okay, and a Magnezone EX. Okay, now we can now we can see. Here's the code card. And nope, even with pulls, it is a white code card. So it seems like that they that all the code cards are white code cards now. Interesting, interesting change. Let me just sort these right here and show off the Juck a little bit closer. Come on. There we go. I like this. I really, really like this. This looks cool. Let me get a sleeve for you. And of course we have the Magnezone EX. Also a very cool illustration. Put you in a sleeve as well. There you go. And, well, moving it on, I suppose. So that is our special illustration rare. I don't know, I've heard different things. There might be there might be more than one in, in one of these boxes. We should still get some some normal illustration rares or art rares in Japanese. But I guess we'll see. We we'll just have to keep opening and then we'll see. Revert, Mastiff, got another Heracross, Defiance Band, the Drift Blim, that looks cool. Miriam. Miriam is also a really cool card. Scatterbug. Professor's Research Rare. Let's put you right here. And another code card. Please focus. Thank you. The white code card. Hmm. So there's a few cards I, I, would, have, I would love to pull from this set. I mean, obviously, like the, the big illustration rares, that would be cool. Like, you know, the Miriam. And what else? 
the the Miraidon for sure, the Koraidon, the Guard of War, which is also in here. But I don't know if we're gonna get another one. I guess we'll just see. We just have to wait and see. Rocky Helmet, Mass Bust Chief, Blissey, Scovillian, and a the Dunzo. Here is the code card. There we go. Well, at least you're promised a holo. I just dropped the card. Oh well, I'll pick that up later. At least you're promised like hollows, like for sure. They're like all over the place though. Let's just put these like right, right here maybe. Okay, let's see what we have. A Ponyard, if you would focus, thank you. A Wiglet. We have a Toad School, that looks nice. We have a Sand Dial. We have a Nest Ball. A Pachi Risu, very cute. Picnic Basket. We have a Watrol. We have a Floet. And our Holo is an Indeedee. Let's put the Holo right here. Show off the code card, there you go. Get rid of these cards, put them over here. And damn, uh, still so many booster packs left. I have to figure out what to talk about. What do we want to talk about? Oh yeah, I guess we can talk about the, the game I will be streaming. I think at the time of recording, White is, is still winning. I mean, I'll end the poll as soon as I finish recording this, maybe. So I'm guessing we'll be playing Pokemon White, which is actually kind of interesting. I I have to be honest, I haven't played White in a really long time. And yo, here's the other Juck! Man, okay. We have the Juck box, we have the, the special illustration rare, and we have the normal one. Nice. I already have both of those in Japanese, but I guess that offers me some comparison. I can compare the the SARs in Japanese with the with the English versions. Oh, okay. Hmm. This feels kind of weird. It almost feels like there's no texture at all on the card. But there is. Is the texture... I don't think the texture is as fine as the Japanese versions now. I will have to compare this, but... I really like the look of this. I mean, they haven't changed that much from the... From the quote-unquote older versions. I have to figure out where to put these, so we can get them... Like, in the frame. There we go. Okay, we have the Juck box. We have the, the normal SR, or the normal, what is it? Illustration rare? No, that's just a normal, I don't know, it has two stars. So it must be an illustration rare, I don't know. But, let's see what else we can get here. I think we should still get like a few, a few um, normal illustration rares. Let's see, what is there, like, from, from, like, the interesting illustration rares? I have to remember to the, to the Violet EX set that I've opened. And Scarlet, like, what is there? For the... Isn't there... No, the starters are in Triple Beat. That comes later. The Magikarp isn't in here? Um, oh, the Toad School. Toad School is, like, one I'm remembering. The Grave Art, that's also one. That's the, I'm remembering those because I I pulled those two. That's the ones I have. Here we have a Quaxley. Ponyart. An Arwen. Acturon, Gen 3 Pokemon, very nice. And a Coridon Holo, that's cool. Let's put you right there. Here's the code card. Okay, so I think we've seen most of the normal cards, so let's try to go a a bit faster now. Because I don't want this video to be too long. But we'll see. Okay, so. Focus, there you go. Let's try to go a bit faster here. Now that we've seen most of these. We have a Judge. We have a Clowitzer. And a Coridon EX. Nice. Here you go. Or ride on EX. That's cool. Hopefully we do get the, the mirror ride on EX as well. That would be nice. To have like the, the set of, of both the, the cover Pokemon. And maybe even get another illustration rare. Well, technically it should be possible. I don't know. The pull rates though. Let's get back to the pull rates. Because I don't think I finished that. 
that topic. So someone on Reddit, or actually two people on, on Reddit, posted pull rates, and they're really good. Like, from a... it's a really small sample size, it's, it's like about 8,000, and the other one I've forgotten might have been 5,000. And oh, here we go! Pulled right to the Fido. Fido illustration rare. Okay, and there you go, code card. So, the pull rates, like, to pull the, the Mirai on EX, the, the special illustration rare, it's like 1 in 300. Which, to compare, 1 in 300, if you want to pull an alternate art from the Sword and Shield era, like the Umbreon, it's like 1 in 1000 something. So, cards are easier to pull, it seems like, which is good. That is super good for us collectors. Meaning, meaning there probably won't be any expensive cards, at least in this set. No, if they change it in the future, for, for future sets, that might change. But for now, pull rates seem to be pretty, pretty good. I still have to figure out, I've actually figured out, I just want to say I have to figure out what to do on, on my birthday, but I figured something out. A little compromised. Originally I had thought, or oh, I wanted to open a an Evolving Skies booster box, but the big one, the 36 booster packs, first of all, it's way too expensive. Second of all, you're not guaranteed an alternate art. So I I just said nope, no way. Then the other option would have been to open a small one, like an, an 18 pack booster box. But that one is also like 200 euros. And then I ended up settling for something else. I ended up settling for three tins. And not just any tins. Hidden Fates tins. Hidden Fates is actually pretty old at this point, but there is there are some really good pulls in there that you can that you can have. I mean, much better pulls than Shining Fates, honestly. I mean, obviously the Charizard GX. That's the big one you want to pull, the shiny one. But there's also like Cynthia. Cynthia is pretty cool. Even though I already have her, that card is still really cool. And you can't go wrong with Cynthia. Cynthia is, of course, if, you, if you've watched my channel for quite, for some time, you know that Cynthia is my favorite champion. And then right after Cynthia will be... Um, is Steven from, from like Ruby and Sapphire. But yeah, Cynthia, I think Cynthia, part of the reason is Cynthia's whole appearance is just so cool. And then her team, like her team, I do believe, is like the strongest team out of any champion. Maybe, maybe Blue. Blue has some variety in there as well. Oh, nice. <laughs> Me ride on Holo. But, but, uh, well, Blue was from, from Gen 1, so there isn't that much variety. So I still do strongly believe that Cynthia, Cynthia's team is the best. Well, there's also the part that Cynthia's team, not only is it a very good team, I mean, Spiritomb, at the time, at the time when, when Diamond and Pearl was released, and Spiritomb is Ghost and Dark, at the time, that Pokémon had no weaknesses. That was a type combination that had no weaknesses. And not only that, her Pokemon also had perfect IVs. Nice, Meow Scarada. Or Mouse Meow Scarada. Her Pokemon also had perfect IVs. So they're, they were essentially as strong as they could be. When you when you battle her at that level. And that's why I think Cynthia is like my favorite champion. Let's see. I haven't pulled anything here in some time. Let's see if we can maybe get another illustration rare in in this pack right here. Cinderconda. We've got a Katie, a Pommel, a Houndstone, we've got a Cyclozar, and nope. I don't know why I pulled that lost card away like there was something. Nope, that's just the energy. There wasn't gonna be anything there anyways. So, open up this one. Here we go, here we go. Tarantula. Please focus. If it would focus faster, I could open these these booster packs faster. I've kind of forgotten. I've said it multiple times now. I've completely forgotten how just how many packs an English booster box has. 
our mod and here is the code card. It's like, that's like part of the reason, I mean, the Japanese booster boxes, if you're talking about like a normal expansion, that also has 30 packs, but the packs only have 5 cards. So, you go through a booster box much faster than you do with an English one. Still, so many awesome new cards. I mean, this is pretty, really nice. We're getting so many- Yo, okay. I haven't seen this before. Check out this Tropius. That looks insane. This must have been from Scarlet EX. Because I have no recollection of that card whatsoever. I've opened, of course, Violet EX in Japanese. See, Professor's Research, this one with uh, Professor Turo. And here's the code card. You know, Professor Sada, love to pull a full lot of her, even though I do already have it in Japanese. I have, I have so many cards in Japanese already. I mean, the ones I don't have are the ones that were kind of expensive, like the Miriam, for example. Or, well, the Penny, the Penny is kind of strange, because the Penny wasn't as expensive as the Miriam. Which I for sure thought that was going to happen. So the Miriam is still about, I think, like 100 for the normal SR or SAR. I can't remember. But it's... Well, that is... Oh, nice Iron Threads EX. Well, that is still kind of insane. At least it's not as insane as, like, the Miriam for, like, I don't know for how much it goes nowadays. Probably still a thousand. Maybe a little bit less. But then at the same time, the, um, the, whatchamacallit, what's her name? I forgot her name, the, the full art trainer from Triple Beat. Oh, jeez. What was her name? That one, that SAR, is 500 euros, like, right now. So it's like half, but from what I've seen, the pull rates, someone has made, like, a statistic. more likely that you pull those, like twice as likely. It's way easier to pull the the um, SAR from Triple Beat. Okay, so I've looked it up because I wasn't sure what her name was. Dendra. I don't know how, how I could have forgotten. But yeah, that one was twice as easy to pull as compared to the Miriam. We have a Toad School. Just put them right here. Rotom, Chansey, we've got a Rare Candy, Floragato. EXP, Share, Stone Journal, Claymation Style. We've got a Clav. And oh my god, we've got the Coridon EX! We've got a second special illustration rare! Are you serious? Holy moly, okay. That is cool. Here's the code card. Enjoy. <laughs> Brother, this is one of the two that I really wanted to pull. Yo, this is so sick. This is so sick. Just check out this card. I can't tell you enough. This is beautiful. Holy moly. You have a bunch of different Pokemon in the jungle, which I absolutely love. You have a bunch of different Pokemon here. Actually, done a bunch of different. I just see it at Dene. Anyways, this is super, super cool. Oh my god. We did actually get a second special illustration rare. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? The pull rates do seem to be kind of insane for Scarlet and Violet. Yeah, for Scarlet and Violet. I was gonna say Scarlet EX. No, this is Scarlet and Violet. Yo, brother, this is cool. We should still get... I mean, I don't think there's still anything promised in English booster boxes. I mean, you only have, like, confirmation for Japanese ones. Although, I'm not quite sure if there is um, official confirmation from them. Let's see. Curlia. Oh, here we go! Scorvillian! Scorvillian? This looks really nice. It's just chilling there and... I, I don't know, I kind of like this. I kind of like this. Okay, let's put this right here. Put you right there and here is the code card. There you go. Put these cards aside. Let's just show this off, like, up close. Yo, this looks kind of cool, I like this. Grab a sleeve for you. And there you go. 
Okay, and moving it on. I actually had to restart my recording because I... For some reason, my camera can only record for up to 30 minutes. Which is kind of odd. So, before I ran out of time, I restarted the... the recording. So that I have all the footage, Pineco. Let's see what else we can get here, Penny. Dude, if we pull, like, another full art trainer or, like, another SR... I don't actually know how to call them. They changed, like, the terminology for for these. Oh my god, okay. Okay, Miride on EX. It seems to be true that the pull rates are kind of insane. That is absolutely beautiful. It's not the Miride on EX I would have wanted, but a, hey, I can't complain about this, man. A full art me ride on EX with the purple background as well fits really nice. It is by 5 band graphics, which I'm sure most people don't really like. I mean, there is a few illustrations from 5 band graphics which I think look cool, but there are just like a few and most of them I don't really like. Because I much prefer something like this, for example, this Tandem Mouse, which is just like hand drawn or like on a PC, like graphically drawn. I don't like the, the like, 3D models, even though I'm sure they also take a lot of effort. Sandaconda, Watrol, and an Amarogue. Here you go, code card. I actually don't know how long this video will be. It'll probably end up being pretty long, because I, I took my sweet time, even though I said I was going to pick up the pace, but, you know, it's, it's not often that I have long videos, and I do get to talk about some things that are on my mind. Because we do have some time when we open these English booster boxes. Nimona. I'm kind of curious to see when, when or if Nimona will get a full art as well. I think it's pretty much confirmed for the next Japanese expansion. What was it? Clay Burst or something? And Snow Hazard? Something like that. I'm sure I've gotten the names wrong. But I think there have been confirmations that there are going to be different full arts. Like, Nimona is not one of them. Okay, so I did look it up. I mean, this is all speculation, but I'm pretty sure it's been confirmed, kind of, that the full arts for Snow Hazard will be Grusha and actually Iono. And if you, if you try to pre-order those or just look up the price, you will see... Focus, please. Thank you. You will see... That Snow Hazard is so much more expensive, like twice as much as the other expansion. Clay Burst. Keep in mind, I'm, I'm not sure about the names. Just what I'm remembering. And that's just, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. That's just kind of insane. I mean, I'm probably going to be grabbing the cheaper option of the two, not going to lie. But I do also have to say, I mean, if the prices keep going like that for Japanese booster boxes, if they just keep getting more and more expensive, I might just drop them all together. Like, that's not something I would want to afford anymore. I'm better off buying singles, because the singles that the people aren't chasing, those ones are going to be pretty cheap. Like, for example, the Juck, or the, what else, the Arwen was also pretty cheap, the Professor Sada surprisingly, like, Professor's Research was pretty cheap as well, but that's probably part of the reason because Professor's Research has been printed into Oblivion. That's why that card was, was pretty cheap. But then, like, like, collecting Japanese trainers is kind of, kind of strange in a way. Because if you really want those expensive trainers, you either have to pull them, or you just don't get them at all. That's how I look at it. I mean, I opened Violet EX, of course, in the hope of pulling the Miriam, either one. I didn't get it, and that means for me personally, I'm never gonna have it, because I'm not going to be spending 1,000 euros on a trainer. I mean, maybe on a greater trainer, but that would have to be a very special one. Maybe like one that's incredibly rare, like the, um, the Friends in Alola card, that one graded, or... The, um, the lily from the same box from that one. Or what else is there? There's also um, Sightseer, which is kind of expensive. I actually don't know how much Sightseer is in a PSA 10. 
But yeah, I I really would not be spending 1,000 on a full art trainer. And not, not a full art trainer that's like... How do I describe this? It is expensive because it's rare, but you have to keep in mind it's modern. So it's not that old. And it might get reprinted at some point. Whereas the Friends in Alola and that Lily promo from the same box, those ones are not going to get reprinted. You can be sure of that. And that's like the exclu exclusivity hard word. It's like something for me that I would consider, consider spending that much money on a card. But probably not gonna happen. Probably not gonna happen. I mean, I think we're all the same in this hobby, if I do say that. We love wasting our money on opening Pokemon products. I mean, for me, it's not wasting. For me, I'm having fun. I pulled some really insane cards right here. Even if I didn't, opening a new product is always nice. And like the thrill of it, and especially the feeling you get from pulling a really awesome card. I I love that. I absolutely love that. But yeah, I think the point still stands. I think we're we're all the same here. We just love spending our hard-earned money to open Pokemon cards. Welp, I have a a tower of commons and uncommons over to the side here. And we have one last booster pack. The Miraidon. I actually don't know if we're going to get anything here. I think we have gotten some really insane pulls. But I guess we'll just see. Also, the change that all the all the code cards are white now, that is kind of interesting. That makes me wonder, though, like, are, are these packs weighable, which would be very bad? I might want to test this, you know, just to be sure. Because then you would have to be very careful buying loose packs. I mean, you always have to be careful buying loose packs. And a Gyarados EX! Okay, we finish it off with a Gyarados. Yo, one last pull for this opening. I mean, you still have to be very careful if you're buying loose packs. Or if you do buy loose packs, you have to pay attention from who you're buying those. Look at this, like, all rares. Nice. Let's just go through these pulls. Let me sleeve up these two. Okay, so here is what we've pulled. We've got a Gyarados EX. Really nice. We have the Oinkolonk EX. Hoping I'm pronouncing that right. Iron Threats EX. Kuraidon. And Magnazone EX. Unfortunately, not the not the Miraidon EX, but we've got that from a different card. A Scovillian. A Fido. We've got a Pachirisu. We've also got the Juck box. We have both Jucks, the normal card, if you will, and the special illustration rare, even though both of them have like... No, this has silver stars. Okay, so this is like a special illustration rare. This is like maybe an ultra rare or something, but we have both of those. We have, of course, the Miraidon EX, the full art, and to my surprise, we have the Koridon EX as well. What an insane box, like truly. Truly, truly. But anyways, that does it for this opening. If you did enjoy it, then please give this video a thumbs up. Uh, consider subscribing for more awesome content in the future. And if you have the time, I would love to see you in the stream tomorrow. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace.